Good morning, everyone. I wanted to provide an overview of the workflow and process redesign assignment that is due um, in Unit 5 here. And Unit 5 begins today, Monday, March 15th. So I'm sharing my screen. A couple of things I want to point out before getting into the actual assignment instructions. There, within Unit 5 in Brightspace, there's this groups and Zoom information. In here, you'll find your assigned group and you'll find information on your Zoom account. Everybody has a Zoom, a basic Zoom account, I believe. <laughs> um, but here is a bunch of information that you um, can use to get that set up if it's not and to set up meetings for your group. Now, I would really recommend getting um, together with your group as soon as possible to get, to get going on this. Um, you all are very busy and have different schedules. Some of you are in different time zones than your group members. And so just getting things scheduled. Um, what I've found is that typically it maybe takes about two group meetings. The first group meeting to kind of divvy up assignments, you know, who's going to do what uh, to set up the um, lucid chart accounts and all of that good stuff in the sharing and and then get a game plan together. And then the second meeting is just to kind of come back together, review everything, make sure it's all set before you submit. So uh, for the workflow and process mapping assignment, I have that pulled up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna just give some some overview here and highlight some things for you. So please read the assignment assignment introduction and um, really just kind of like a high level summary is you're going to you know meet with your group members you're going to develop a use case for patient registration in a primary care clinic and then you're going to analyze the current as is patient registration workflow process and redesign it to reflect a telehealth patient registration workflow okay and so that is a brand new workflow that you would create as a group um, within lucid chart okay so here's the scenario. You're a revenue cycle manager at a primary care clinic. You wear many hats at this organization and currently oversee all revenue cycle functions, such as registration, coding, billing, et cetera. The management, maintenance, and implementation of the EHR and privacy and security as well. The organization has been sequentially implementing and adopted, adopting the EHR in a modular fashion, similar to the sequential implementation discussed on pages 16 through 25 of the Margaret A. text. The COVID-19 pandemic just hit and you need to implement a more formal telehealth program. In preparation for telehealth visits, you ask a group of stakeholders to diagram the current process for carrying out patient registration. And so this is the registration process that they've, um, these stakeholders have developed. We can make this bigger, just so you know, to view it, but this is also a great example of a swim lane diagram and what I'll be looking for from you as a group, okay? So, okay, so in preparation for your first meeting, please read chapter five in Margaret A's text, okay? When I say first group meeting, so, or first meeting, I mean group meeting. So make sure that you come to that meeting ready and prepared by doing all these things. Do some research on telehealth visits and the registration process for telehealth visits to fully understand the application and how it's used in ambulatory care. And then also read chapter 15 in Margaret A's text, okay? Chapter 15 is on ambulatory care. So make sure you, you review that. Schedule a Zoom meeting with your group members. So you should be emailing each other early this week uh, to get a meeting set up. And then uh, one of you should set up a Zoom meeting and here are more instructions. At your first Zoom meeting, you're gonna designate a group leader to serve as a facilitator for the meetings. You need to have a secretary to record meeting minutes. You will actually be submitting the meeting minutes as part of, uh, as one of the deliverables of this assignment. So that role is really important. And then also then further identify other group member roles and responsibilities, okay? So the deliverables are your team's meeting minutes from these Zoom meetings that you're gonna have a use case scenario, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a sec here, and then a proposed telehealth patient registration workflow diagram. Now, this is a brand new diagram. It's not 
it's not, um, you know, taking what the, the original registration process is. I want you to actually address how will a, how will a workflow look for a telehealth visit, okay? All right, so your meeting minutes, here's a breakdown of each deliverable. Uh, your meeting minutes should be taken at all of your group meetings. Like I said, I would really like um, you to all um, meet as a group, probably set up meetings for to meet twice. The meeting minutes need to be written using some type of word processing software, preferably Microsoft Word. They should be in 12 point font, or sorry, yeah, 12 point Times New Roman font. And the meeting minutes need to identify the date and time of your meetings and the group members that attended each of the meetings. Okay, so take attendance. The method technology used to meet. So if you're doing Zoom or phone conference, or maybe one of you has access to WebEx or another um, conferencing type um, application, that's just fine. And then group member names and each member's role and responsibility within the group. Okay. So for the use case, a scenario deliverable, what you're going to do is you're going to develop and explain a process model for representing or what kind of what it is, is, is a process or a model for representing a specific scenario, also known as a use case for at least two different users of a patient registration system. A use case diagram provides a higher level view of a system, and these diagrams are the blueprints when designing a system. Okay, they provide a simplified and graphical representation of what the system must actually do. So in this case, I'm giving you kind of a, excuse me, I'm giving you a scenario here, an example, okay? So, um, so what I'm looking for you to do is to identify a scenario where a patient registration system is currently used or where the patient registration could be used. And so the sample I'm giving you is for um, a computerized physician order entry application, so CPOE. And in this scenario, um, I'm just, I just simply took um, where there's an alert that's built into the CPOE system. You could have definitely have alerts in um, patient registration too, hint, hint. <laughs> and so think through that a little bit, but in this case, there is an alert built in where there is a drug, drug interaction. And so, um, you need to identify at least two users that interact with this. And so in this case, we have two users that um, are interacting with the CPOE scenario and, and, and I chose to do a primary care physician and a pharmacist, okay? But they'll be using um, the CPOE system for a drug-drug interaction. And then you need to develop a use case, a model diagram that depicts the unique user interaction with the patient registration scenario. And your process model diagram must include um, um, the using UML symbols for case um, use case diagramming, and there's guidance at this link. There's also a video here on how to develop a use case. So make sure you, you look at both of those. Um, your use case should include a minimum of three steps, and, the should, and of course, these need to be high level, right? And each, um, each step should describe a session within this with the system and um, also you can look at um, this website um, for, for further guidance on um, what that high level uh, use case looks like okay all right I'm not going to read all this to you um, okay and then a textual summary of how to interpret the diagram. So there should be a summary for each user. So identify the two users that interact with your patient registration scenario and just provide a summary of that. And then your scenario must be different than the example that I provided below. Well, of course, because yours is going to be about patient registration and not CPOE. But, and really I'm not, I wanna make this also very clear that I'm not as concerned with the accuracy of the process, but rather your understanding of how to diagram a potential scenario. This is something that's really common um, where, and I think use case for a while was kind of like a buzzword in healthcare where um, when it was first kind of coming out that this was a good way to, to go about designing different processes and things. And so 
like I said, I just want to make sure that you guys know how to, to develop one of these diagrams, okay? And then you're going to use Lucid Chart to create your business process modeling diagram. And here are Lucid Chart account signup instructions. You may have used Lucid Chart in another course, and that's just great. You already have an account. Um, but the great thing about Lucid Chart is that it's like a Google, um, you know, based off of Google accounts. So you can use your CSS login to, to sign up. Okay. And then the UML tools can be found in Lucid Chart on the left side of your screen by clicking on templates and then searching for UML. Okay. So here's my, my case process diagram, my sample. Took me long enough, huh? <laughs> Finally getting to this. So here we have our two two individuals that are interacting with this. And here are my three steps, right? So they're, they're, the physician is responding to an alert of an interaction with ordered medication that they made. And it's um, the other drugs that the patient is on. And then um, they're gonna track whether the ordered medication was administered. And then the physician, or the, sorry, the pharmacist is gonna also respond to the alert and they're going to verify dose, dosage type and timing of the drug. So these are kind of the three steps that are involved with this. Here's an example of the textual summary that I'm, I'll be looking for for each of your stakeholders. Okay. All right. Last deliverable is your proposed telehealth visit registration workflow process mapping diagram. Okay. So in the as-is workflow diagram above, you were able to see the current registration process at this primary care clinic. And so you need to think about, you know, what would the patient registration process look like for a telehealth visit and kind of taking that patient through that, that process, right? And who are the stakeholders involved with that? So you are charged as a group with drawing a redesign workflow for the use of patient registration for telehealth visits in the form of a swim lane process map. And again, you're going to lose, use Lucid Chart for this. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this, um, but just make sure you do. <laughs> um, um, let's see what else I want to say about this. The other, okay. So lastly, the swim lane diagram will be the center of the Unit Five discussion forum. So when your group has completed the swim lane diagram, you're going to need to export it as a PDF and then save it. One group member should attach the swim lane diagram in a new discussion post thread and identify all group member names within the post, okay? So as individuals, you need to reply to one other group post, okay? So each group member should respond to a different initial group post. Um, I believe this will work this time. Um, last time we had some students that were out for different reasons and it didn't really work out that way, but I believe we'll have enough posts um, um, in this unit to do that. So your group should then decide how you're going to handle questions that other students have about your diagram. So make sure that you're reviewing response posts about your group's diagram and answering all the questions. So that is something I will take into consideration as I grade your, um, as I grade your group assignment, okay? So logistics, so both the use case and the swim lane diagram should be exported from Lucid Chart as PDF files and saved. And so when you're ready to post the swim lane diagram to the discussion board, one group member should do that. And then when you're ready to submit all the assignment deliverables, so your use case, the meeting minutes, and the swim lane, again, one group member should upload the, the two PDF documents and your word process meeting minutes, okay? And then I'll review all three of those for the entire group, okay? And you'll be getting um, the same grade, unless there's some really big outlier there where somebody maybe became very ill and wasn't able to participate or, or whatever happens, okay? And then lastly, make sure that you're providing a reference list and APA format for um, your, you know, your research, your group minutes, how you guys came up with the different um, uh, the, sorry, the new process for telehealth. And yeah, and so this talks about the grade for the, the group deliverable. And that is it for that. And so I hope that this was helpful. And um, if you have questions, of course, email me or submit a question to the um, 45, or sorry, 6502 community um, discussion forum. I mean, I'll be monitoring that. 
And I hope to have your unit four um, assignment graded hopefully today, Monday, um, the 15th. So I hope you all have a great week and uh, take care. And again, let me know if you have any questions.